In this video, we will show you how to install a two row, three column panel array, which will tell you everything you need to know to install rectangular arrays of any size. You'll find an installation manual in the TL flashing box and you will need these tools. Let's get started. Our top tips are don't rush. Make sure the flashing edges are straight and use glass cleaner, not soapy water, to lubricate the gaskets. This will help your install go more smoothly. It's best practice to carry out an open circuit voltage test of all the solar panels to check they're working before installation. Roofing kits come in simple color-coded boxes. The main components in each box are also marked with colored stickers that correspond to the kit. There's one roofing kit per panel. And for this layout, we'll be using these kits. For the first panel, we're going to use the kit of parts from the yellow box. Start with placing the first solar panel bottom left of your array and then move to the right as each column is completed. It's helpful to mark a chalk line to ensure the array edge is fitted square to the roof. Set the bottom of the panel the correct distance from the head of the tile below. The distance should be between 130 and 150 millimeters. Spending a bit of time to get the first panel in the right position will help the other panels in the array line up correctly. First fix the rafter brackets at the bottom of the panel where it crosses a rafter. Use two 50 millimeter screws in each bracket. Next, fit the batten brackets to the side of the panels with two 25mm screws in each bracket. The standard kits are suitable for tile battens of 25mm thickness. For battens thicker than this, use 5mm bracket spacers to increase the height of the rafter bracket. For thinner 22mm tile battens, use brackets from the B22 and B22J kits. Now let's fit the sill flashing to the panel. It's a good tip to prepare the gasket seal with a squirt of glass cleaning fluid and a scraping tool to clean away any dirt and open up the slot. Push the flashing into the rubber gasket seal in the upper slot of the panel frame. Take care to align the leading edge just above the yellow line on the gasket. Supporting the sill flashing from underneath as you push makes insertion easier. This is the correct insertion with little or no resistance. These insertions are wrong. And next we fit the lower side flashing to the panel, aligning the vertical edge with the bottom of the panel to leave a tab sticking out, which should then be folded down over the sill flashing. And secure the edge of the side flashing using the side fixing tabs and nails. Now you need to tightly fold over the tab on the sill flashing to grip the side flashing. To fix the next panel, we're going to use the kit of parts from the green box. Components marked TYB are to finish off the row and will be used later. We need the components marked TYA for this panel. At the top of the first panel, fix combi rafter brackets to each rafter the panel crosses with four 50mm screws in each bracket. If a tile batten falls where the bracket should go, remove the section under the solar panels. Now, fix the joining strip along the top of the first solar panel. Align it to the centre of the panel so that it sticks out by the same distance at each side. And push it into the gasket using the rigid rib, not the thinner, sharp edge. Now we need to do our second solar panel. We're going to align it with the top of our first panel. At this point, the electrical connection between the panels can be made, listening for a full engage with the telltale click. And now continue to carefully slide the upper solar panel down the roof to engage with the combi bracket and the joining strip. Tip, starting with the right corner and then rotating the left corner downwards gives you the smoothest connection. 
Best keep hands safely away from this area as the above panel glides down. Next, fix the left side of the solar panel with batten brackets and 25mm screws. Now push in the upper side flashing. Finally, fold the protruding edge of the joining strip down over the side flashing. Never fold it upwards. And again, secure the edge of the side flashing using the side fixing tabs and nails. To fix the third panel, we're going to use the kit of parts from the red box. First fix the combi batten brackets to the right hand side of the bottom solar panel. The taller side of the bracket goes into the panel, the shorter side faces away. Now fix each bracket with two 25mm screws into the side of the tile battens. It's now time to add the third solar panel. Align it with the bottom panel and slide it into position to engage the combi batten brackets. The brackets set the gap to 30 millimeters. Secure the new solar panel to each rafter it crosses with two 50 millimeter screws for each rafter bracket. Fit the sill flashing by pushing it into the gasket on this solar panel. From a position above the panel, slide the lower gutter between the two solar panels to come out above the sill flashings at the bottom of the panel. Next, fold the tab at the bottom under and behind the sill flashing. Now, loop the gutter fixing strip into the slot at the top of the gutter. Pull it tightly upwards and fix the strip to a tile batten with a nail to keep the gutter from sliding down. Then, take each of the two lower gutter covers and align them with the bottom edge of the solar panel to leave a retaining tab sticking out. And next, gently push the gutter covers into the gaskets, remembering to fold down the retaining tabs. To fix the fourth panel, we're going to use the kit of parts from the blue box. Fit the combi rafter brackets to the top of the third panel and now fix the combi batten brackets to the right hand side of the second panel. Slide the upper gutter inside the lower gutter and behind the gutter covers and nail the fixing strip to a batten. Now fit the upper gutter cover. Align the top end around 20mm below the top of the panel where the yellow sight line ends and push into the panel gasket. Fold the end of the joining strip down into the gutter. You now need to locate the top flashing kit and rafter brackets. This can be found in a previously opened box, the yellow TL box. Fix a rafter bracket with two 50 mm screws to the top of the panel on each rafter the panel crosses. You sometimes need to add a batten above the panel to support the top flashing. Now push the top flashing into the panel gasket. This tile support is needed for some tile types. Feed the two straps under the foam and secure the straps to a batten above. Returning to the top of the third panel, push the joining strip into the gasket along the top edge. Slide the fourth solar panel in to engage with the joining strip and combi brackets on two sides. Finally, fit the gutter cover into the gasket on the fourth panel. Fold the edge of the joining strip down into the gutter. To fix the fifth panel, we're going to use the kit of parts from the orange box. Fit three combi batten brackets to the right hand side of the panel to the left. Now slide a new panel against it into its final position. Fix the panel with rafter brackets on the bottom and batten brackets to the right hand side. Push the sill flashing fully into the gasket at the bottom of the solar panel. Push the lower side flashing into the gasket on the right hand side of the panel. Align the vertical edge to the bottom of the panel to leave a tab sticking out. Secure the edge of the side flashing using the side fixing tabs and nails. Fit the lower gutter and the lower gutter covers. 
remembering to align the vertical edge to the bottom of the panel to leave the retaining tabs to be folded over. To complete our array with the sixth panel, we need the kit of parts from a blue box and parts left over from the previous boxes. From the blue box, fit combi rafter brackets to the top of the fifth panel and combi batten brackets to the side of the fourth panel. Install the gutter and gutter covers. Push the upper gutter cover into the panel gasket. Fold the end of the joining strip down into the gutter. Using parts from the TC box, fix rafter brackets to the top of the fourth panel and fit the head flashing. Fit the joining strip to the top of the fifth panel and slide the sixth panel into position as before. Insert the second upper gutter cover and fold over the tab. Taking the remaining components from the TY kit, marked TYB, fit the upper side flashing, fold the joining strip tab down over it and fix with batten clips. Fix rafter brackets to the top of the sixth panel and fit the head flashing. Finally, remove the paper strip on the underside of the sill flashing and dress the lead down onto the tiles. Push it down firmly to ensure that the bitumen strip is well bonded to the tiles. This is best bonded on a dry and clean roof tile. For very dusty or wet tiles, a low modulus external silicon sealant may be required to achieve good adhesion. We hope you found this video useful. Please see our other videos for other layouts such as non-rectangular arrays. More information, including PDF installation manuals, can be found on our website.